Who says a podcast needs to be on one topic? Why not all the topics? Join my sister Megan and my sister Michelle as we drink wine, occasionally knit, definitely argue, and delve into whatever is on our minds. Welcome to the Swinging Gates Podcast, a podcast about almost nothing. Get Get ready ready for for the the whiplash. To the Sweeney Gates podcast. This Hi is guys. Michelle. This is Megan. And we are on self isolation quarantine right now. So we thought we would go ahead and try to get a podcast out. We are doing this via Microsoft Teams. Megan's at her house. Hello. I'm at my house. Hello. Yo. And so if we sound a little bit echoey, more echoey than usual, that's why we are. Yeah. Sorry about doing that. Our best. <laughs> But um, we wanted to, we discussed this the other day that we were going to do a pod, uh, recording um, based on the topic of, I guess, the COVID-19 um, mm-hmm. virus and self-quarantine and, self- and self-isolation and how that's affecting us mentally, physically, and just emotionally, emotionally. spiritually. Um, yeah, exactly. Um, because it's, it's <laughs> taken a toll. Yeah, and we're not even on an actual lockdown yet. We're just on a suggested self-isolation. Yeah, uh, uh, we're in Arkansas, by the way. Um, our governor shut down all of, all the schools. Um, the uh, K-12 through universities are still open, but um, we both work at the university. To online. And we're, yeah, we um, have been asked if you can work from home, work from home. Yeah, uh, my my whole office is we let, literally loaded up our computers and desktops and took them home mm-hmm. and are working from home. It's been a really weird transition. It has to be. I mean, it's not so much. Well, I guess for you it could be, but you've been home for a while. Mm-hmm. Um, but I was out. You know, I've been out on um, ADA leave because of some mental health stuff going on which we'll discuss in a later episode. Yeah. But uh, making the, trans- like I went back into my office for half a day and then it was like time to remote work. But for me, the adjustment is just getting myself to focus. Right. Cause all of a sudden I can see out of the pretty window and see <laughs> my pretty backyard with my pretty plants and uh-huh. my pretty trees and my pretty grass and I just want to stare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, for me, it's been um, a little different just because I've been in the office. Mm-hmm. And being a manager, um, I kind of had to step up and take care of everything. Um, mm-hmm. When Right before they put everyone in um, quarantine, or at least the decision to ask us to go into quarantine or self-isolation, um, Um, I had to come up with a way that we can all communicate and um, our IT team helped us um, using Microsoft Teams. And that's what what Michelle said we're using right now with Teams. Um, It's a great tool, by the way, not just for work. Um, uh, What did you say? We are not sponsored by Microsoft Teams in any way. (laughs) Just going to put that disclaimer in there. But you're not being paid. No, no, not getting paid. Um. But anyway, um, yeah, so moving everybody that's used to classroom um, teaching to virtual has been challenging, but the faculty that I've been working with, um, I mean, they've been adjusting pretty well, I think. Mm -hmm. Um, We are trying to make everybody work from home, but people don't want to. So, you know, they come into the office. Luckily, not everyone is. Good. so going from the office to home and trying to coordinate with everybody, the challenge has been um, working with those that don't do technology mm-hmm. and just trying to be available to them by email and stuff um, Yeah, and checking in with supervisors and my team and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, and then next week, you know, or the next couple weeks, we 
are having interviews and they're all going to be virtual. Yeah. <laughs> right? And I'm at home and everyone else I'm is going to be at home. The people you interview are only dressed from the waist up. I mean, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, they're all going to be video um, interviews. And, and everything, but I'm going to be coordinating all this from home and, um, I just have to be available, you know? Yeah. And that's been the biggest thing is just the whole, the big difference is being a lot more available. Mm-hmm. Um, if that it makes sense at all, I feel like I just rambled. <laughs> no, but it all made sense. It, you know, it was very interesting to hear for me. Um, my unique challenge is that I have a three-year-old. Mm -hmm. And uh, we kept him home from daycare for a couple days while we're waiting to hear see if uh, somebody close to us was exhibiting symptoms and went and got tested. We're waiting to hear the results for them. And so we're keeping our son home with me until we know for sure that we haven't been exposed. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting trying to work when you have this adorable little three-year-old, mommy, play with me, mommy, play with me, mommy, I want to work with you, type, 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 oh, God, he just, you know, twice (laughs) now he has turned off my power strip and shut down my entire setup. You know, um, being somebody that does not have children, I I just can't imagine the the challenges that parents are facing right now, (laughs) having to stay home, work, and have their kids. Mm -hmm. Um. I imagine, I think he's napping right now, so that's why we're yes. able to do this right now. Yes, he is asleep, and it's a Sunday, so. <laughs> but, <laughs> but still. But no, uh, just, and it's hard because you want to go play with your child, but, and you, you can't explain to a three-year-old, mommy can't play with you because mommy's working right now. Mm-hmm. Because all he sees is mommy is sitting here at a computer. Why are you paying attention to me? You know, and why aren't you playing with me? Right. So um, one of the solutions I found that works for a little while is I cleared some space next to me on Mm -hmm. our dining room table and let him set up his iPad and his snack and a toy. And Mm -hmm. so he's working with me while... I'm actually doing my job and you know, that usually lasts for about half an hour. (laughs) So, and then he starts crawling on me. (laughs) Right. Right. (laughs) Um, does your job allow you, do you get a lot of downtime with your job that you can focus on, on, on your three-year-old? Um, right now I am because we're not getting a lot of phone calls and um, it's the end of the month where most of my job is already done for the month. So I'm just uh, working mostly on some busy work right now. Uh-huh. But then in the, probably t- starting tomorrow or sometime next week, I'll start my monthly spreadsheet uh-huh. and start my coding, which will be a challenge with Jareth running around if he doesn't go back to daycare. Do you have IT helping you at all? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. No, um, our IT team is really great. I just have to send him a team's message. Be like, Terry, help me. (laughs) I'm lucky because, you know, we both work at the university. My Mm -hmm. husband works at the university. Mm -hmm. He works in IT. So So I have, like, my own IT at home. (laughs) Now, he's got his own job. I do. I mean, I do when I'm at work, too. But because Uh he's we're in the same department, kind of. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) Yeah. Um, but he's got his own work that he has to do. Um, but Mm. if I have an issue, which luckily so far been okay. Um, I try to contact the other IT people through teams, Mm -hmm. um, because they are more versed in how to get me set up on my remote desktop so I can access my desktop. So I ask them more than I ask my husband because I understand that he's got his own stuff to do. Right, you right. know, and, and but, that's as it should be. Right, but it's also very nice um, getting to see him throughout the day. Yeah. Um, he's my human. Uh, what is it? My human touch. Your emotional support human. Yes, my emotional support. He's human husband. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish I wish Eric could work from home, but he's an auto body tech, and it's mm-hmm. a very physical job, so it's not like he can bring his job home. Right. 
But I But the you way know, that the, he talks is they've got um they're they're spaced out just right. Oh yeah, yeah. There there's plenty of room in between each other, so he's not on top of anybody, he's not breathing anybody's germs. Good, good. So he's pretty and he's constantly washing his hands. So he's he's fairly safe as you know, he's as safe as somebody can be who is out in the public. Right. Um how often have you left your house since you've been um, officially, I guess, self isolating? Because I I haven't left. Three times? I left yesterday. Sunday, Saturday. Mostly, um, the the only times we left the house is to panic shop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So you're one of the panic shoppers. No, we're not hoarders. Mm. Just um, on Monday, I want to say it was before I went back to work. I um, I went and, you know, stocked up the house. And then, Mm -hmm. um, then there was one time I ran an errand, like I had to go pick up a prescription Mm -hmm. that was Thursday. And then yesterday I woke up and was honestly like, I must've had a dream or something, but I woke up in a panic convinced we were not at all ready. And then I realized that we had like no crayons or coloring books for my kid. Uh Uh-huh. So we went to the we went to the Walmart and bought a few more necessities. That's good. So so we're we are not hoarded hoarded? We have not hoarded, but we are <laughs> well stocked. That's good. We haven't um panic shopped ourselves. Um what's impacting us right now is that the um grocery pickup is a bit delayed. Yeah. Um so we are having to go back into the store to shop, which is we're not used to because we always do Walmart pickup. Mm-hmm. Not sponsored by Walmart. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, we haven't panic shopped, but um, because we listen to the news and our local news and they're telling us that, hey, don't don't just, you know, just dump everything into your cart, you know, get your essentials, but know that yeah. other people are doing the same thing. And we're going to get restocked. Yeah. You know? Like, we're not buying 16 bags of flour and five <laughs> giant packages of toilet paper. No, we bought a package of toilet paper. Uh-huh. You know, we bought a gallon of milk. Uh-huh. Now we have three gallons in the fridge. But the main reason for that is that our child is drinking, like, half a gallon of milk a day. <laughs> We have a gallon and a half. We usually have about two gallons on a regular basis yeah. anyway, just because exactly. we really like milk. Um, it's it's like a comfort but, drink to us. But yeah, I mean, we we bought some self. You know, we were. I was careful when we when I went and did the shopping. I wasn't. You know, I would buy two cans of beans instead of twenty cans of beans. I don't know. I read something earlier, but I now I can't think of it on the spot. Um, <laughs> but. When I went to the store yesterday, because we needed flour, all uh-huh. that was left was whole wheat flour. Yeah, I saw And that. there was only three um, yeah. bags. Um, there was, like, no pasta. Um, it, it's it's interesting. Well, everybody's buying stuff that's shelf-stable or, mm-hmm. you know, they're buying flour so they can make their own stuff, like, make their own bread. I'm going to be making another batch of scones today. Matt made bread yesterday, and it was really good. Yeah, I need to learn how to make bread. Maybe I'll <laughs> teach myself how to make some bread this week. Yeah, and yeah. you've got one of those kitchen aids, so um, it'll be I useful. <laughs> um, Matt has, he finally has had the time to actually start his garden, and he yes. built his above garden bed. Um, I helped with that yesterday a bit. Yeah. But he started um, a couple weeks ago planting everything in um, little um, cups and planter yeah. bowls. I can't think what they're called. Pots. 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 Um, planter bowls. And, well, <laughs> I can't think of words. <laughs> but um, we're getting like lima beans and stuff. And um, they're poking through. That's so cool. Um, neat. when we get, um, actual dirt to put in the bed, then we'll transplant everything. Um, it's really fun to see him happy that he can do stuff yeah. like this. And I love seeing the fact that we can produce our own food if, if we need to. 
Yeah. Uh, one of the things we're going to do once the quarantine lifts is we're going to get together with Laura and her family. They have already got three raised flower beds, mm -hmm. but after all of her health issues, she just can't maintain them anymore. So we're going to kind of co-opt them with her. Oh, fun. And, you know, split the produce 50-50 or 60-40. Yeah. You know, just, my family doesn't need as much as her family because her family is much bigger than her. Right. Oh, that's cool. It's like a community <clears throat> garden. Yeah, exactly. Neat. And, and then eventually I might convince Eric to build me a raised flower bed so that I can do the same thing here. Yeah, very cool. Um, I would love to grow some broccoli and and green beans and tomatoes yeah matt's got some cherry tomatoes going yes. um it's 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 really neat to see them growing it's just fun to see that kind of stuff happening yeah. um but matt eventually matt will build like two more beds mm -hmm. to put out there and then yeah once quarantine is lifted um we'll be able to do more yeah you know, it'll be, it'll be nice. Um, nice. So, um, how's it going with uh, boredom? Oh boy. Um, it is, well, like, like we mentioned earlier, I was home for two months with uh, some mental health issues mm -hmm. and it's weird. The, like I have cabin fever already. Oh, but I at do. At the same time, I don't. And it's just, it's really weird. Um, <clears throat> the boredom sets in, but then, you know, you've got your video games, and mm -hmm. we've got Netflix and Amazon Prime and and Disney Plus, all of which do not sponsor us. Nope. <laughs> but they're... But, uh, but they're... Oh, I just found out, and you might be interested in this, Megan. Ooh. Um, are you familiar with Shutter? You know, I am. And what, can I tell you something? I'm very happy you brought this up because it might actually make me go ahead and do it. I saw the advertisement that they were doing, not sponsored by Shutter, um, uh, <laughs> that they were doing 30 months, no, sorry, 30, 30, days. 30 days free yes. um, of Shutter. And I was so close to getting it, but I'm like, do I really need another streaming thing? But it's horror. Yeah. It's all horror, and they have a discovery of witches on there, which <sighs> is based on a book series that I love. Okay. So I am going to go ahead and sign up for it and get my 30 free days and watch Discovery of Witches along with okay. a whole bunch of other either really good or really bad horror movies, depending on how I feel. Okay. I Then I, I might do it then because... Sweet. Because there's horrors on there that are new horror. Yeah, and and yeah. I'm I'm interested. Yes. So um. Anyway, um, boredom. So yeah, cabin fever is really bad for me. Um, I don't like staying inside. Um, so or being away from people, even though I'm I'm an introvert and I don't like crowds. Um, I still need to get out of my house. So going shopping on Saturday was a nice um, time yeah, to get out. Yeah. But we yeah, took the whole family, me, Eric, and Jared went so that we could get out and get a little bit of the crazy out. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm gonna try and convince Matt for us to take the dogs for a walk because I'm sure they would like that. Yeah, we might do that with Buffy. Um, she would probably enjoy that. Yeah, I think that our dogs are um liking us being home. Yeah. And I think they like the fact that they get to go outside a lot more often. <laughs> I know Buffy loves that. She's really enjoyed the last couple months of me being home and being able to go out whenever she wanted and getting treats and getting pets. Yeah. Tiny Cat is kind of indifferent. Uh-huh. She, she, I think she's going and finding new places to sleep. Like, right now she's in my office with me. Uh-huh. Asleep on my chase lounge. I've got both Watson and she's Radar. <laughs> Now, Buffy, I think, is out in the living room with Eric. Cool. Um, yeah, I've been just um, catching up on Netflix shows. Um, try, I'm trying to stay... To... I'm also trying to stay proactive. Uh, not proactive. Um, productive? Productive in, like, household chores. Mm -hmm. Because when you're not having to get dressed and, like, really make yourself up to see people... God, it's so hard. You're so lazy. You feel so lazy. Okay. And you don't yeah. want to do those things, but it's like, um, 
you have to keep doing those things or else you're going to become a snob. And... I convinced myself <laughs> to, at, like, at least on work days, get out of bed and get dressed in some way, even if I'm just putting on a pair of leggings and a sweatshirt. Yeah, I do I'm that. I'm at least changing out of my pajamas so that I'm indicating to myself that you know, okay, it's time to work. Yeah. I make my pot of coffee. I drink my three cups of giant, my giant cups of coffee. <laughs> um, it has been nice sleeping in, though. I don't have to get up so early. Yeah, Eric's able to sleep in a little bit because Jarek isn't going to daycare at the moment, so uh-huh. he gets to sleep in until, like, 6.30. <laughs> yeah, I can wake up at, like, 7 now and just kind of take my time, even though I, I do when we, I did when we weren't on like a lockdown uh-huh. quarantine, um, I kind of struggled to get out of bed. Um, so getting the extra few minutes has been really nice. <laughs> yeah. Cause I can just I, um, roll out of bed and go to work. <laughs> I actually have an alarm set on my phone <clears throat> for seven fifty eight, and it goes off at seven fifty eight, And that's my cue to make sure I have my coffee and uh-huh. And that's my cue to get over to my computer and start getting all my stuff turned on uh-huh. and getting logged into my system so that I'm ready to go at 8 o'clock. And that's good. Has... And it, it's helping me maintain a schedule. Oh, yeah, that too. Um... Something I would like us to touch base on okay. while we're talking about all of this is how our community has been freaking amazing. It has. Like, um, someone in our area started a group called Yolidarity for the Northwest Arkansas region. Mm -hmm. And it's a group where we can come together and post, like, hey, can anybody help me with this? Or, hey, I have extra of this. Can I give it to anybody? Yeah, it's been really cool. Or does somebody need a ride? Or, hey, there's this free pantry on such and such street. And it has been incredible to see the outpouring in just a few days they went from a couple hundred members to a couple thousand members. that's awesome and so i mean i i recently saw where someone had extra breast milk they had frozen yeah i saw that too able, yeah they were able to get it down to somebody in little rock who needed it that's awesome and this is and, and i'm seeing local restaurants who can't, you know, they can't do dine-in anymore. Uh-huh. So they've taken up by themselves, they've taken it upon themselves to provide meals for children whose only meal came from school. Right. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I think some schools and, are even doing Our libraries are doing that. Oh, the schools, yes. The local schools are continuing to feed children. They have <laughs> grab-and-go pickup. Mm-hmm. You know, they have school buses delivering meals. Uh-huh. You know, it's just... It is really humbling, but like just so amazing to see how in the event of this tragedy, because you read all this dystopia and apocalypse uh-huh. fiction and all this, and everything just goes to hell and everybody turns on everybody, but that's not the truth of it. No, like, not right now. No. When, when shit hits the wall, people come together. Yeah, you know. I mean, that's what I've been seeing. Into a roving band of highway warriors, <laughs> you know, people are reaching out to their. Like, I have an elderly neighbor, and I told her if they need anything, please well, that's let nice us of you. know. We would be glad. You know, we would love to help them. I'm terrible. We haven't like really met our neighbors. We've been here almost a year. <laughs> Sorry, we're we're we like our privacy. <laughs> Well, <laughs> Eric is very social, so he's met most of the neighbors. Where I, I have met only a couple, uh-huh. but Bev and Charlie, who live next door, they are much older. And Beverly is just she reminds me of Nada. Okay. And she's just super sweet, and she's a former educator. Uh huh. And she's you know she's a gardener now, and she does all this stuff, and she's just super nice. And so when I was out getting the mail the other day, I ran into her and I told her, I said, look, if you and Charlie need anything, Eric and I would be more than happy to help you out with that. That's awesome. So I might go check on them in a day or two. Cool. Um, 
I, I'm glad that you kind of brought up um, age groups because I find it funny that it's us telling our parents to stay home now. Right. <laughs> and our grandparents to stay home. Because we were supposed to, our parents were supposed to come up and visit us this weekend. We yeah. were like, why don't you stay home? Yeah, we're like, yeah, you guys need to stay home. Keep um, Nana in the house. Keep Nana in the house. You guys Nana stay safe. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, yeah, you guys are more susceptible. Thank you. That word. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, you guys are much, um, yeah, I can't think. They are more at risk. They are more at risk. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Um, that was That was a long struggle. A long journey to get to that phrase. It was a long journey, man. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> um, but oh, what's really. what's been nice is um, it's so it sucks that we have to be away from each other because I can't see my parents, I can't see my girlfriends, I can't mm-hmm. see my nephews, uh, I can't see you guys. Um, mm-hmm. It's 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 been hard mentally um, because. I, even though I don't like crowds and stuff, I like the people that I choose to be in my inner circle. They're not in my inner circle right now because they're in their own house. And I can't see them because we want to keep them safe. And it hurts. I have a partner who lives literally one minute away. And you can't see him. can't go see him. Yeah. Because, because, you know, we, we can't leave the house and he's got two kids. Yeah. And he has a roommate who works in one of the local clinics. And so there's too high a risk. And see, we work at the university, so we have a lot more um, exposure mm-hmm. from for campus stuff. Um, but, yeah, it's it's been hard. I, I can't tell you. There's been times where I kind of look like Matt and I'm like, Matt, please, 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 can they just come over? It's just them. It's fine. Yeah. They're fine. And he's like, no, it's Megan, like, you can't oh, do oh, it. You can just go over and get a hug. You don't even no. want that big a deal. And it's it's like, no, Ugh. you can't do it. And it and it and it's it hurts. So um, thank God for technology, um, because uh-huh. we video chat them every once in a while now. Um, yeah, I try to video chat um, Jareth and Aiden, my nephews, um, just 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 so that they know that we're still here, and that we're not <laughs> ignoring them, right? Because they're young and they don't understand. Yeah, and Jareth just loses his mind whenever Aunt May calls. <laughs> I he love it. So excited. Aunt May, Uncle Matt, Aunt May, Uncle Matt. Yeah, Aiden will request um call Uncle Matt and Aunt May. Uh, and, and so we video oh. chat with him. We um we video chatted with mom and all them last night. Oh, I video chatted mom this morning. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Just to check yeah. in because yeah. it's gonna be a while. It is. Um, it's gonna be quite some time before we get to see it. It could be a month or two. It could be. Um, are you kind of in that state? I've seen this meme go around um, where it's we're kind of in the state where we're panicking, but also kind of calm at the same time. Yeah, like we're both underreacting and overreacting all yeah. at the same time. And I think that's pretty normal for this kind of situation. I guess. I mean, I've, because you're trying because we've never experienced anything like this. I never thought I would. Right, exactly. And so it's like, oh, my God, like, oh, yeah. But then at the same time, we're also so well informed and so well connected that it's also, you know, it's not hitting us as hard as it could be, I think. Yeah. You know, we have this ability to video chat with each other, to call each other on the telephone, to send text messages Mm -hmm. and and communicate through Facebook and Instagram and all of these, you know, different platforms. So even though we're all in isolation, we're still connected. And Mm -hmm. I think that is what's going to get us through this. I think so, too. Um, It's very important. Um, You might not like human interaction all the time, but sometimes you need it. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, humans are pack animals. Yeah, yeah, we are. And even those of us who are introverts and want to just stay at home and watch Netflix. Hi. Still, we still get the itch and the need to have human contact. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, just just a hug. Just a I hug. miss getting a hug. 
from mm. from from my girlfriends. I miss it so much. I understand. Um, me. What's been really cool um, with this is Matt has been really comforting um, with mm-hmm. me in, in this situation on with anxiety and depression and stuff. And I kind of told him like, yeah. man, you have to make sure that I like shower <laughs> regular yeah. because my depression, that's what it does. And, and I'm home all the time. So I'm not. What's the point? Exactly. Yeah, I should, I'm um, glad you mentioned that because that made me realize I should really take a shower today. Yeah. I woke up yesterday and I, and I took a shower and I'm like, man, this feels so good. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got to make sure that this, that I do this. Um, yes. Because it's going to rejuvenate as well, I think. Um, it's, and you it's, just don't want to smell bad. That too. I don't want to smell bad. Um, <laughs> even though no one's around me, you know, still. But your husband can smell you. I guess. <laughs> he could. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Um but you know, I mean, I'm just glad that we've we've got this technology um, to video chat and stuff. And I'm gonna try and do um, streaming again. I know oh, I've been I've been away from it for too long, um, mm-hmm. and and most of the time it's because I'm so tired from yeah. going to my day job, you know, eight to five, coming home, need to you know pay attention to the dogs, the cats, the husband, mm-hmm. um, and I'm just so exhausted. And I'm just like, man, I just can't. Can't yeah, yeah. sit around and just play video games, but um, now that I'm not as stressed out, mm-hmm. that's something that I'm happy about is that my stress level is a little lower. Yeah. Um, on on the mental scale, and mm-hmm. so I feel like I might be able to get back into streaming again. Um, I and, would like that. If, when you do, you have to let me know so I can watch you and pester you. Yeah, I think I'm, I mean, I'm going to think I'm going to try maybe today. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to try and do Zelda. Ooh. Again, I know I was playing, um, what was I playing? Uh, Darksiders. And it's yeah. a fun game. But yeah. um, Zelda is nostalgic and I yeah. know it. And sometimes you need that nostalgia. Yeah, I need something that's familiar with me that I can just kind of zone out. Mm-hmm. And just play. I've been playing through Breath of the Wild again. Awesome. I need to finish Breath of the Wild. Well, you can't because I have your game. Oh, shoot. That's right. You do. That's okay. I downloaded Ocarina of Time to my Wii U. Ooh. And so I will be playing that one. Nice. Yes. Nice. One yeah. of the best video games ever made. I love it. I love that one. Um, I just don't like the... Uh, um, when he's a kid, Link, and he has to go into the whale. <clears throat> oh, I don't like yeah, that that, that dungeon rough. because the princess is is kind of a pain in the ass, and everything looks the same, and yeah. it's very hard to navigate sometimes. But dude, that water temple is ridiculous. But <laughs> we actually recorded an episode of video. About we did. The game. But it was way too much of a mess. Yeah. So we're going to re-record it at a later time. We were not prepared. <laughs> we were not ready. Not ready at all. <laughs> we, were, we were incapacitated. See, if I had a Switch, I could be playing with, with other people as well. Yeah. But I don't. And that's okay. I mean, I'm even using a borrowed Wii U. <laughs> so, oh, are you? Because, yeah, um, Nick lent it to us. Okay. Um, have you been getting any knitting done? Because I haven't been... Um, I am working on a sock. Ooh, socks. Yes, that uh, if I do it right, I'm actually going to keep it for myself, which I never do. <laughs> How's your cross-stitching? Um, non-existent? <gasps> you, I will send you things that you can make. I know, I'm so bad. I really need to start it again. Honestly, what my issue is... I'm so good at it. ...is I don't have fabric. Oh. You know, I, I don't have I don't have cross stitching fabric. I have fabric. some that you gave me to teach myself to cross stitch. Oh, and you haven't used done. it? No, because I knit. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't think I have the patience for cross stitch. You ha- I have to pay too much attention. Okay, I mean that's that's cool. I like it. It's fun. I like stabbing like things. Like I said, you're incredibly good at it. Half the cross stitch up on my stuff is yours. Two things. Yes. <laughs> Well, I have four cross stitches. I don't know. Up, and two of them are yours. Okay, cool. Yeah, I've got some little projects, um, like little kits that I bought that I could probably do. So I can probably make one of those. 
Yeah. Um, keep my hands busy because I'm an avid nail biter, which yeah, I have not bitten my nails in like, I don't know, a month or so. I'm very, I'm very girl, proud. Girl. Very proud. I like actually having to clip them. If like cut them down and like file them and and mm-hmm. everything, um, that's been nice. <laughs> I'm very proud of myself with all this virus stuff. You know, trying to keep my hands out of my mouth is very easy. Because <laughs> um, you know who knows where it could be. Yeah. Or whatever. So um, one more thing that I want us to discuss. Okay. Because I think we're kind of getting to a point where we're going to wrap up soon. Okay. Is is thanking the essential workers. Oh my gosh, yes. They need to do their job despite be, you know, risk of exposure. And I'm not just talking about healthcare providers no. who, oh my God, these people are saints, mm-hmm. but also retail workers, gas station workers. When yep. we were at Walmart the other day, uh, yesterday, a uh, young lady came up to help us because we were buying some beer. And I looked at her, I said, and I, I said, I just want to say thank you to you and, and your coworkers yep. because- you guys are continuing to do your jobs and you guys really are heroes. And she almost cried. Aww. I was like, I don't think you guys are getting the recognition you deserve, but thank you for continuing to do your job so that the rest of us can be safe. Exactly. Um, they, and so, I can't, yeah. I mean, there's not enough in the world to, to thank these people. No. Um, and, and these are the people who, you know, these are the jobs that people want to say are, are menial and don't deserve a living wage. Meanwhile, Bullshit. all of a sudden, these people are completely essential to our survival. Yeah, without them, we wouldn't be able to so go grocery shopping. Give them the pay raise. Give them a living wage. Please give do. Them hazard pay. Give them the, give them sick time. the benefits that they need. Just do it. There is no such thing as a non-essential human. Right. Yeah. There's no such thing as a non-essential job or non-essential human. And hopefully that'll be something good that comes out of this mess is Gosh, I really hope so. That truth. I really hope so. I mean, news has been depressing and mm-hmm. and whatnot and That's why I've been ugh. trying to focus on the good stories. Yeah. Yeah, and I like seeing those things coming across my like Instagram or Facebook feed. Yeah. Um, seeing our people. But I also people. look at a lot of pictures of puppies. A lot of pictures. A lot of memes. I'm I'm on TikTok a lot. I, I've been watching uh-huh. a lot of TikTok videos. I get lost. <laughs> but, I call falling down the TikTok hole. Yeah, I really do. <laughs> but it's fun. Yeah. It's, it's something that I that keeps my mind from going insane. I agree entirely. And it, and also, we have, and also, you know, we're not the only ones. It's It's just the whole world is going through this and yeah. um we're kind of in this together and i'm just hoping that humanity stays yeah you know and you know and you hear all these stories about how now that everybody is locked in at home you know pollution is clearing up, right? Right? Is clearing up and it's like maybe we were just being punished did you ever see that movie it was an m night Shyamalan movie oh, the, the happening happened. That, that that movie scared me. That movie was a little high, ha- a little ham fisted, I thought. But <laughs> but now that we're kind of going through it, it's like, oh, well, yeah, maybe it's time to sit down, shut up, and listen. Yeah, the Earth is basically telling you. Well, no, the meme was Earth got fed up with us, so he, they it sent us all to our rooms for being assholes. For being yeah. assholes <laughs> to, to to the planet. <laughs> but. So, yeah, a lot of funny memes have been coming out. Memes are what's going to keep us going, guys. And cats. Cats, memes, and doggos. Yes. <laughs> and the workers and yeah, um, the teachers and <clears throat> the libraries. People have just been... Um, making, Everybody's really stepping up. Stepping up and making sure that our kids and everyone are still getting their education. And I'm really loving how all these um, museums and libraries are putting content online yes. for free. Yes. I haven't gone into those yet, but... Um, Not yet. I think but... that's fabulous. Yes. And and people that typically can't go into those things because of money restrictions or anything, uh-huh. they now have the opportunity to do so. Yay! And... Um, I'm I... going to go to the Louvre. Oh, let's go to the Louvre. We shall go to the Louvre. The Louvre. 
um, uh, but um, if you're listening, um, thank you for listening. Um, send thank us, you so much. make a comment. Uh, leave us a comment. Um, let us know how you guys are doing um, in, mm-hmm. in this time. Let us know how you're coping, um, how work is, how your mental health is. We do care about you. Um, mm-hmm. Reach out and talk to us. Um, and we want just to. make sure you're taking care of yourselves and your loved ones. Exactly. Um, and give that your, might include an extra treat. Give your kid oh, yeah. an extra squeeze. My dog's got a pancake and bacon today. Ooh, just wow. a little bit. <laughs> just a just a little bit. Just a little bit. bit. But yeah, <laughs> um, um, yeah. Um, thank you. This is episode two. Um, we will try to get the third episode out soonish. Um, we might put them out a little sooner than anticipated just because we have nothing else better to do. And so why not entertain our friends and ourselves and ourselves? Right. Thank you so much for listening. You guys are awesome. So awesome. Thank you. Like us, rate us, subscribe, share download. us, share us everywhere. Yeah. Share us with your friends. Oh yes. We are now on Podbean. We are on and iTunes, iTunes and Stitcher, Stitcher and YouTube and, YouTube. and Instagram. Yeah. So you have ways to find us. Yes. So find us, share us. Love us. Yes. Um, Hope you guys are doing okay. Um, We love you. We love you very much and take care. All right. Bye. Bye, guys.